Talita is about rebirth. And sometimes, a lot of times, well, most of the times, we don't really have that choice. And it's either you pay attention to the writing on the wall or you ignore it and walk by it. One of the main things that I've learned from this that I want to, you know, hopefully remember is that your whoever's vision you're following, that's what you have to respect and that's what you have to follow through on. Once I let go of my opinions and just went with it, it was relieving actually. One of the layers of it, the main layers, is based on loss. So many people can connect and relate to it, even younger people who haven't lost anyone very significant yet. Grief sucks, loss sucks, and we all deal with it differently. That was my main focal point on writing these two characters, on how, they, how differently they uh, dealt with grief how you can be so disconnected sometimes, but also how you can be connected. And how you try to work together and how sometimes just an outside force like a D-Love just can really shed a different perspective, different light on things, and how that same light affected us both differently. One of the things I'd like people to take from Talita is that change is not always easy. And even, I, I don't like it much I mean but you learn a lot from it and look things suck things happen that suck but when someone new comes in like a character like D-Love that just literally lights up the room and changes things you can't deny it you gotta you know be open to it